The Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane, the Sword of Time. It has many names and a rich history in Hyrule, but what happened to the Master Sword in Lowrule? Well, Link changed Lowrule forever. The Master Sword. It's a reoccurring sword in the Legend of Zelda series and it's imbued with the power to vanquish evil. In many games it is also said to be the only sword capable of defeating Ganondorf when powered by the Triforce of Power. The Master Sword is directly related to the Legend of the Hero of Time and has become one of the most iconic symbols of the Legend of Zelda series. Often appearing in other video games, additionally, the Master Sword has been featured in several Zelda games logos. Everybody who ever touched the Zelda franchise knows of the Master Sword's existence. But there is one world where nobody knows what the Master Sword is. We don't see the Master Sword or something similar in the counterpart world of Hyrule, also known as Lowrule. But why? Well, let's take a look at the Master Sword's origins in Hyrule first. It all started long ago at the beginning of the Zelda universe. As told in legend, after the Golden Goddesses were finished creating Hyrule, they left the Triforce in the care of the deity Hylia. Eventually a crack opened up in the earth and the Demon King Demise and his demonic hordes came forth. Wanting to make the world his own, Demise and his monsters attacked the surface to steal the Triforce. In order to prevent the great power from falling into the hands of Demise, Hylia created a plan. She gathered the surviving Hylians on a piece of land, entrusted them with the Triforce and sent them to the heavens. To further assure their safety, Hylia created a cloud barrier to separate the two places. With the Hylians in a safe place, she united the ancient robots, the Gorons, the Kikvis, the Mogmas and the Perella to battle the Mai's forces. Together they sealed away the Demon King within the sealing grounds. However, knowing that the Mai's would eventually attempt to break free, Hylia created a plan to permanently defeat him. Hylia created the Goddess Sword so that her chosen hero could one day destroy the Mice if he ever was resurrected. Hylia is the protector and some sort of the god of the Hylians. And the Mice is also known as the Demon King and only seeks destruction of Hyrule and all its people. When the Goddess Sword is bathed into three sacred flames it was forged into the Master Sword. After its creation the Master Sword was embedded into the enchanted pedestal and the Great Temple of Time was built around it. Ultimately, the sword and the pedestal were both sealed away in a private chamber, protected by a mighty stone barrier. Only one worthy of the title of the Hero of Time could pull the sword out of the pedestal and unlock its true power. For many ages, the Master Sword lay hidden in its chamber, awaiting the time when the hero spoken of the prophecy would come to claim it. This eventually happens in the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So now we know the history of the Master Sword and its origins in Hyrule. But the history of Lowrule was a bit different. According to Princess Hilda, Lowrule was once a land much like Hyrule. It possessed its own version of the Sacred Realm and its own incarnation of the Triforce. As was the case in Hyrule, the people of Lowrule began to lust for their Triforce limitless power. Many lives were lost as people warded over it to end the strife. Hilda's ancestors decided to destroy their Triforce rather than seal it away. However, without its Triforce, Lowrule slowly began to crumble. As the generations went by, Lowrule fell further and further into disrepair and edged closer to its doom. The Triforce was destroyed in Lowrule and that's why the kingdom fell apart and there's no mention of the Master Sword in Lowrule or anything like it. What happened to it? Well, there has never ever been a Master Sword in Low Rule. Let's take a look at Hyrule. They have a Master Sword, it was made by Hylia and we use it against Ganondorf. But what is the Master Sword made of? What material did they use? Well, it's probably made out of Master Ore, since we use it in the Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds to upgrade the weapon, and the ore is some sort of named after it. So there's a good chance that the blade was made out of Master Ore. But there's something strange about this. There are four specimens of this rare ore. They can be found hidden throughout Lowrule, mostly in dungeons. When two are collected, the Master Sword may be tempered by the blacksmith in Hyrule, creating the Master Sword level 2. If another two chunks are collected, the Master Sword level 2 can be tempered by Low Rule's blacksmith, and Link will obtain a Master Sword level 3. Master Ore is found within the dungeons, Thieves' Hideout, Skull Woods, and the Dark Palace, as well as the Graveyard. These dungeons are all located in Low Rule, so there is no Master Ore in Hyrule, only in Low Rule. Well, there's actually quite an easy explanation for this. Hylia used all the Master Ore in Hyrule to create the Master Sword, so we have nothing left. The Lorulians never had a Master Sword, so that is why Master Ore is scattered throughout the land. 
And what is Link doing? Well, he collects it all and uses it to make the Hyrulean Master Sword even stronger. So we're actually stealing the only Master Or Laurel has, so they can never ever make a Master Sword after their link between worlds. Which kind of dooms the kingdom of Laurel? If their counterpart of Ganondorf would ever rise to arms and attack the kingdom, then they would have nothing to defend themselves. So in the end, we try to help Laurel by restoring their Triforce, but they are still doomed. Thanks for watching, and follow Dr. Wily on Twitter and Instagram to win amazing prizes this week, and to keep up to date with the videos. And don't forget to leave a like and share this video, it really helps me out, and why not subscribe?